Yo, what's going on, guys? I am back. Took a day off. Had just a hectic day, hectic week. Let me hear your thoughts down below. And today we'll be talking about the fact that the Brooklyn Nets have signed Chris Chioza. Okay, so this is basically a guy who's getting his second chance in Brooklyn. Chris Chioza, 5'11", 179 pounds, has seen 91 career NBA games, four starts across four seasons with the Golden State Warriors in 2021 to 2022. He got a ring, Brooklyn. He played in 20 and then 2020 to 21. Washington in 2019, Houston in 2019. He's averaged 3.3 points, 1.3 rebounds, and 2.4 assists in 11.4 minutes a night. Now, they didn't release the exact terms, but we assume it is a training camp deal as this is a team that arguably needs a little bit more depth at the point guard position. And Chris is a guy who I know, I know, he came out of college about almost five years ago. He played for the Florida Gators and in college he was about, you know, a 33%, 32% three-point shooter, but he was a guy who could, you know, dish out, you know, he's a good, you know, decent passer and he was a decent defender. And every time he's played in the G League, he's been a guy who's averaged at least like one and a half steals, sometimes even, you know, over two a game. So, um, Again, he still struggles with this three-point shot, but he's a good passer, a good defender. He's a pass-first defensive type guard who can attack the rim, but he's mainly going to help you out with passing and rebound, not rebounding, passing and defense. And he's from Memphis, Tennessee. And after spending, you know, the season this past year with the Warriors, he comes back to the Nets. And he played in 34 games, only one start for the 2022 NBA champions, averaging two points, 1.1 rebounds, and 1.9 assists in about 11 minutes per game last year. And then, like I said, in 40 games with Brooklyn over his two seasons, he averaged only 5.1 points, 1.6 rebounds, three assists in 12.8 minutes a night while shooting 39.2% from the field, 44.8% from three, and 81.8% from the free throw line. And again, he's a guy who's played in 70 career NBA G League games, 68 starts, and in the G League, he has averaged as a whole 13 points, Ignite, 4.8 rebounds, 7.5 assists, 2 steals, and 33.1 minutes per contest. So this is a guy who can ball out, and it's really just him, his shot, his whole, what's going to hold him back from having an NBA career. If he can shoot for the ball, then it's all going to be A-OK. -okay. But yeah, I want to hear your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of Chris Gioza and his shot to make the NBA roster? I think it's just going to be a little bit difficult. Not, you know, I want success for everybody. But he could be a guy that could have a long, look at, look at Shane Larkin. He's definitely the type of guy who could have a long career in Europe. So this might be one of his last opportunities before he goes. And... I don't know. I definitely think it's it's going to be a hard battle for him. Nothing against him, but if you look at the Nets' current roster, Chris will be facing off with a few guys at the guard position, like Aldondis Williams, where he got a two-way. David Duke got a two-way. So two ways are filled, okay? And Cam Thomas, Patty Mills, Kyrie, Seth Curry, Joe Harris, you know, David Duke and Aldondis Williams are all guaranteed spots. He's going to be fighting with Yuta Wananabe, Really, he's probably not even going to make it. I think Juan Abe and Morris both have him in the roster. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Probably going to be a guy who's be on the G League team. Like and subscribe. A little short one because what are we going to tell you about Chris Chioza that you don't already know from this video? But, yeah, I hope you guys do have a great day. Also, that whole Brett Favre. Am I not allowed to be a Brett Favre fan anymore? because of what you know he did because damn it's gonna be interesting so yeah i hope you guys do have a good one until next time guys pup peace oh